What is the longest lie this area can perform in League of Legends? Ready to shock! I unpick the longest slides I could find on the Summoner's Rift and the Howling Abyss. Most of the slides I will be talking about in this video will be useful in actual games, like this one for example. Pretty cool, right? No! Since we can get the actual length of the walls, we will have to use another variable, and the variable we will use is time. Let me explain. Everyone knows that distance equals speed multiplied by time. In our case, since Zeri A will keep the same speed, that means the more time she spends on a wall, the more distance she will be achieving. That's a no-brainer for the people who click on the subscribe button. Is this nigga serious? Let's look at the map together. Actually no, we don't need the map right now. Because there are two of them as soon as you get into a game. It doesn't matter if you are blue side or red side. There will still be two walls you can ride. For a total of four of them. One, two, three, four. Let's start our research with that wall. My favorite wall. I don't know why it's my favorite wall. Don't ask me. Anyway, let me show you how I'm going to get the time for each wall. First, we need to ride the wall. Let's try to go as far as we can. After rising the wall, we need to use a stopwatch. Now, we need to connect the stopwatch to the first frame. I want this video to be as accurate as possible. As soon as the cooldown goes off, the timer should start. Precision is the difference between a butcher and a surgeon. After this, we need to connect the end of the slide to the timer. As soon as the wave disappears, it should indicate the end of a slide. And that's how we get the time of a slide, 3.12 seconds. We can now repeat the process for the other walls. I was in disbelief how the four slides got the same time. That's when I remembered something. Zeri got a better win rate when she's red side. Does that mean the 0.01 seconds actually make a difference? When you play Zeri on the blue side, you're able to go on lane 0.01 seconds faster. That also means you can't feed the enemy team 0.01 seconds faster. Is this nigga serious? Anyway, those are the longest slides right now, with a time of 3.12 seconds. Let's continue with the slides in the bot lane. There are two of them, and they always get me out of sticky situations. There are also two walls in the top lane that look the exact same as the ones in the bot lane. Let's get the time for the different walls. I'm going to be honest with you, I expected this wall to be longer. Size doesn't mean everything. Yes, sir. Let's continue with that wall and also this one. Both of them are underrated because you rarely use them, but they do their jobs. Oh, okay, they got the same time. Right now, I really want to see another slide takeover. The score to beat is 3.12 seconds. I think it's doable. Let's continue with this slide. This one also helped me get out of bad situations. That wall also got a counterpart in the top lane. Let's get the time for the different walls. Okay, that's disappointing. I thought these two walls would be long enough to take over. It's time to go to the Howling Abyss. There are a few walls you can ride here, but people don't even use them. Or they don't use them to get an advantage. Or they don't even know they can ride these walls. I think it's alright. 
you only can play on this map in era many way. Let me show you the different slides. You can use this slide to troll people. The crazy thing is that the enemy team can't even see you ride the wall. <laughs> time to get the time for the walls. We have one wall left. Will it take over? Will it be the longest slide in the game? The time to beat is 3.12 seconds. Three point eleven seconds. Oh my god. That one was really close. Those are the longest lights Ziri can ride. No wonder it was my favorite wall. The blue side walls are more rideable. Before the video end, I want to thank my friend Rui for giving me the drip. It's wrong for you to not have Ziri drip. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe and thank you for watching.